Hey everyone, Chris Gambit here for theflublographer.com, and today I'm showing you a couple of changes that I've done in my post-production in Lightroom. Um, I'd usually do this by showing you screenshots or explaining everything individually, but I decided I'd show it to you via a video this time around. So, this is an image um, of model Beck Fordyce. Um, it was done for a Godox ring flash review that we were doing. So, let me start this out by totally resetting the image back to what it originally was. So that's what it was. And what I usually do is I start by specifically cropping the image to where I want it to be. And then, after I'm done with that, oh wow, go back, yes. There we go, that's more of what I want. Once I do that, instead of manipulating the, uh, treatment settings and the minor adjustments that everyone else does first. I've actually, and then in addition to that moving down, I've started to start all the way from down here in camera calibration. So what I do is I choose a color profile and because I have uh, Alien Skins film profiles, I usually go for Fuji Astia because it was one of my favorite films growing up. And then after that, I move on upwards towards what I want to do. So I'm going to also enable profile corrections. Kind of do a little bit of sharpening. And then in addition to that too, I'm going to work on the colors. So I don't ever touch hues, but I do touch saturation. I do touch luminance. Now I see that uh, there's a lot of red there's a lot of orange and there's some purple here. So I'm going to start by desaturating the purples and seeing what happens. And notice how Beck's top kind of changes. And then when I choose the luminance, notice how it also kind of changes. And also know, notice how her skin is changing very slightly. But it will change even more once I mess with the reds a bit more. So I tend to rest with the reds, and I tend to mess with the oranges, and I have a, more of a tutorial about working with skin tones, um, usually involving saturation and luminance. So I just keep messing with them a bit more, just like that. And notice how the image is already starting to shape up to become a lot better. Then what I usually do is I'll add some extra exposure in there, and then I'll mess with the contrast, I'll mess with the black levels, push the clarity a bit, Sometimes I'll mess with the shadows, sometimes I won't. And that is how I now get, ooh, also in addition to the two, I'm going to mess with the blue levels and see what happens there. Yeah, let's mess with those a bit. There you go. Notice how the butterfly is starting to pop a bit more now. And she is sharp, yes, yes, she's sharp. So yeah. That's what I've started to do. The reason why I've started to do this is because I like to make the more specific adjustments first, which are in the color panels, and in addition to that too, it also has to do with the lens profiles and maybe even some vignetting or something like that. And then I like to affect the entire image by working with these. These up here in the treatment affect the entire image, whereas these just affect specific parts of the image. I think it's much safer to deal with specifics first versus things that affect the entire image first. So when you're going to edit in Lightroom, um, give it a shot. It's probably going to help you out. You're probably going to get better images after that. And uh, you'll probably be much happier with the way your images come out. That's all right. That's pretty much everything there for you guys. Uh, thanks a lot. Take care. And uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel on The Philographer. Thanks a lot.